morning everyone um, this is CY right um, welcome back to my channel right my channel is all about having fun making coffee in the various style right in my previous video after I play back the video I realized that I have an occupational habits um, because I I am a teacher in the daytime I lecture in a local polytechnic um, so when I speak, um, I always speak in a tone uh, seeking for confirmation, which means that I always say, um, this is the proper warming up of the machine, right? right? So in my previous video, um, after I've gone through, after I've watched through the video myself, I realized that how many right I've used during my entire video. And uh, I think part of a good thing that making a uh, part of the benefit of making YouTube video is you're able to see how bad uh, your speech is uh, without yourself realizing it until you actually hear yourself speaking through in the video or in recording mode. So I will try to correct my style of speech. Uh, and, and I'll try to uh, reduce the number of right I'm, I've been using in my previous videos, right? Uh, see, here it goes right again. <laughs> uh, so we'll start by switching on the machine, right, as usual. Right, a proper warm up. Press and hold for ten. Uh, press and release for ten seconds until the manual comes out. Usually, if I don't have enough time to make um, espresso shots and latte, I will use my uh, Review Barista Pro, right? Because the heat up time is really very short. In fact, the machine from cool from cold to start only requires about three to five seconds. As you can see from uh, when I pull a blind shot, right, the water gets really hot in like a matter of seconds. So this is one advantage, one big plus about all the machine that comes with a thermal jet, which includes, of course, the Barista, Barista Pro, um, the Bambino Plus, and the Barista Touch, right? Uh, again, I use right. Uh, so these three models, uh, all carries the thermal jet system, which means that it doesn't come with the term, uh, the, the heat block, as what the Barista Express has. Today I'm going to use the built-in grinder. I've uh, roasted some beans two weeks ago. I think the beans are from. Columbia. Right, so let's try to use the bin. Right, measure about I I, I like 18.5 gram of those. So uh, if you are new to the espresso, right, one very important tool is the weighing scale. Right, um, uh, again I use right. Try to use uh, a scale that's an accuracy of up to 0.1 gram. Uh, nowadays, it, it comes really. Uh, you can you can buy the cheaper version, which is the one I have, which costs less than twenty dollars. They are the original one, which comes from maybe Hario or Timor or some other brands, right? And they are much more expensive. So this one is very economical, and it can last for quite long. And the reading is quite uh, instant, which means when you put on the weight. They give you quite a fast instant feedback. So this is a weighing skill that I've been using for one year plus. I think many of you have the same skill as mine. Right, this is actually a, a knockoff from the Hario, I believe. Right now my grind setting is at one. Right, so when you want to adjust your grind setting, make sure that your hopper is empty. So I will be going at the grind setting of three. Uh, let's use my closing 
Hello? grind is not too bad right um, there are quite a bit of clumps right. um, that's what the uh, what you pay for because the built-in grinder on the preview barista pro is um, it's okay but it's not it's not really very great But it is definitely very convenient, right? Okay, you can see that I'm not tamping this time because I can feel the, the pressure when I distribute the, the ground. Uh, it's pretty firm when I press it down. So uh, I will not be tamping this time. Okay, um, okay, this cup is a bit too tall. Okay, let's use uh, this one. Right, make sure you tear so that it zeroes back your on your weighing scale. Usually, I prefer. Custom pre infusion. I will run pre infusion about seven seconds by holding the double shot button down. And I'll let go. Right. Um. The espresso shot flows really fast. Right. Which means that uh, the grind setting is not fine enough. Okay, um, if this is an espresso shot, uh, I'll probably uh, take a taste and if it is not too good, I'll probably not drink it. But for today's, uh, I'm making a latte, so I think it should be alright. So sometimes we, we tend to throw away shots that we think that is under extracted. But if you, know, if you are making a latte, you can actually save this. Right, um, the, the milk will actually sort of compensate for the sourness in the coffee. Right. Actually, the part looks pretty dry, as you can see. Right. So make sure every time after you pull a shot, you will flush. Right. This is just a personal habit. Which I think is good because I can see some of our shower screen uh, is actually pretty dirty. Uh, so it will be very difficult to clean up when you try to do a back flush. And the machine only promises you for back flush once every month. So if you don't do uh, flushing every after, uh, after every extraction, you're going to have build up of this coffee stain inside the shower screen uh, cover. Uh, which is very nasty and... Uh, probably encourage bacterial growth. So my suggestion is always um, pull a vine shot immediately after you do extraction. Just like immediately after you steam a milk, you will perch. Right, it's the same understanding. Thank you. 
how do you know when your milk temperature is up? Uh, I know heat is uh, the feeling of heat and temperature is something very personal. Some of us are able to tolerate higher temperature, but some of us uh, will feel hot when the temperature is not really that high. So, if you really want accuracy, the best is to get a thermometer. Right, for, but I've been pulling uh, shots and making lattes for a year over now, so I roughly know when my milk is ready. Texturing is not really very well today. I didn't really texture it. But let's give you a try. Okay, not too bad. The second one is a bit thin and there's a bit of not enough milk there right so this is what I usually do in the morning if I'm in a rush and we don't really have time to down the beans very early in the morning so usually I'll just put a shot regardless of the quality of the shot I'll still drink it and if you cannot really stomach very sour or very harsh espresso right you can actually do a latte All right okay so thank you for watching my video and stay with me in the morning uh, I, I wish you to have a very good day ahead and hope that you can subscribe to my channel and like my video and if you find my video useful you can share my video with your friends or anyone that has a similar machine as we do like right, the Purview Barista Pro and uh, I'll see you again